Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we're back with the Europa Universalis for England. And I'm convinced that my computer doesn't want recordings to happen. Um, I had a few issues updating my sound drivers today. And I was just recording, I had about 20 minutes in, and the game full-on crashed. So that's, that's a new one to me. I haven't had uh, any crashing issues with EU4 yet. So, yeah, that's a bit of a concern. Anyway, um, wound up going for a takeover, military takeover of Scotland and their two Irish allies. Which I think is going to be the best way to go about doing this. Um, I realized that, that before I said peaceful integration, because, hey, that's, you know... Really, in real life, that's the better way to do it. But, considering the circumstances and the situation, um, yeah, I'm really thinking that I might just want to claim the Scottish throne and then go to war with them. So, the problem is, I don't have a Casabella, and we've got a royal marriage. They're also allied with Sweden, which is interesting. Um, huh. Because, you see... So here's the dilemma. I would like to do it diplomatically, completely 100%, and I'm not concerned about being able to do that with Scotland. The trick here, though, is that for whatever reason in this game, the three Irish states that are left really freaking hate each other. And because they've, e they've set each other to rivals, I can't annex them. I won't ever be able to make them a vassal. Um, because I need to get that relation bonus up to 190, and I can't get it that high because of the stupid negative 25 penalty because I'm allied to a rival of every single one of them. It's just ridiculous. So, that's going to have to be violent, which means if that's going to be violent, we might as well make this one violent too, so we can get them all. It's like Pokemon. So, first things first. Covert action. We're going to fabricate a claim on our Shire there. And we're going to slowly boost the funding of our military. I have a feeling I should be losing one of my advisors soon, if the previous playthrough was anything to tell me about. And then I can just pump up my military spending and go to war with the Scots. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. We'll see if the game decides to crash again to prevent it from happening. I'm hoping it doesn't. And what else? Um, I was a Kickstarter backer for the game called RimWorld, and it turns out that game is about as addicting as crack cocaine. Now, there's not too much that's in it right now, but what's in it right now is really slick and really fun. So, yeah, there'll probably be a video series on that coming up shortly. I don't know when, but soon, because, man, that game, that game is fun. That being said, every time I play it, while I am a big sci-fi nerd, and I do enjoy a lot of science fiction, I can't help but think that a colonial simulator like that would be hella fun if it had a historical setting instead of a space setting. I would love it if there was a way... Oh, God, are you kidding me? We're going to need prestige to claim their freaking throne. Oh, but military power? Fine. At least we've got that in spades. Um, yeah, I th I, uh, a colonial simulator like that would be great if it had a historical setting. As it is, though, I mean, it's, it's, still, it's still a lot of fun. All right, so we've got the claim on Scotland. Perfect. We're going to get a leader... That's better! We're gonna get a leader. We're gonna boost this to full. Not gonna worry too much about my fleet maintenance. 
Um, and the only reason why I really need to boost it to full before I go to war, they're currently at war with Denmark, Norway, Saxon, Lauberg, and Lithuania. So they're already at full military spending. So I gotta get my troops up to snuff before I even go to war with them. The Irish, they don't. That's not a concern. This is. So we should be good by July. And we're pretty much good. So now we can go and say, hey, hey. We're taking Ayrshire. Or Ayrshire. And none of our Irish allies will join in. Which is, you know, bad. But still, have I... Hold on. Hold the freaking phone. Let's claim their throne first. Perfect. That would have been embarrassing. Okay. Now we can go to war with them. Right? Throne claimed by England. This allows England to claim the throne in a peace offer. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead, declare war, take our shire. Unless it turns out that that means I can't claim their throne if I take that. But whatever. We're just using that as a, as a reason to go to war. We're not actually going to claim the Scottish throne. So let's go take the capital. And, oh, hello. It looks like the Irish this time around. Last time, Connacht and Leinster went against me. And that made this kind of annoying. Um, but it looks like they joined me this time. So I'm A-OK -okay with that. We'll set the speed to three. Oh, now I see the trickery you guys are playing. So we'll just do that. Okay. Seven. Oh, that's, that's a pretty big army for Ireland. What?! I don't... I, I don't understand. S so my whole point of going to war here is gone. Because I can't claim their throne now. Right? Like, if I go and say, hey, let's sue, f let's sue for some peace. Yeah, I can't. <sighs> All right, we'll, we'll just have to conquer the shit out of Scotland. <laughs> Pardon my French. <laughs> That's frustrating. Oh, okay, let's go back. I don't know where you got that stack of 11 units from. Probably your war with the Scandinavian countries. Seventeen, huh? Why don't you come attack me? Eighteen now. Okay. Ireland, screw you. Don't, don't do that. Actually, just stay there. There we go. Take that, James Stewart. And then we should be able to use the Royal Army to hunt down whatever remains of the Scottish Army while we use the Irish Army to lay siege to their capital. And you're going up to Aberdeen. The effects of the Pragmatic Sanction. Uh, we are going to go pro Habsburg with this one. Mainly because getting the little bonus points with Austria, it's nice to have a friend on the continent. Now where you run into? Probably there. Right? Because that... Oh no, they actually do own Orkney now. <laughs> At 
least it was right in my guess. Oh, can we blockade them on that little island? Get there, get there, get there, get there. Oh, it looks like they're done. And the Irish aren't making a move for my possessions. Good. So we shall continue the Siege of Scotland. And get that done quickly. None of my leaders are particularly good at laying siege. So we'll just have to wait it out. For that, we can turn up the speed to four. Looks like Scotland accepted peace with Denmark. And what I wanted, I'm going to occupy the capital and then shift one of my armies back into Ireland, take those two lands, and then finish up with the other army, the rest of Scotland, and... Yeah, that'll hopefully... Yay! So we can take the army of Ireland, get on your boats. And you can start going after the Irish. In the meantime, we'll head up around and start... Really, you're... Okay, come at me. Hope you die. Alright. Might not be a bad idea to go over there. When you get there, 2nd of January, 2nd of January... 4th of January. Well, now where are you going? Let's do that. There you go. As of late, more and more people are requesting representative national institutions. Give them what they want. Well, no, we can, we can afford to lose the stability, actually. We're doing okay in that in that matter. We're not doing okay in money issues. So let's go ahead and raise some more taxes. That should cover almost enough. And then we'll probably wind up losing losing one of those guys sooner than later. Did Munster actually join me? No, so they're just blue because they're allied with me, but not actually at war. Oh well, not like I need them anyway. Yeah, not gonna worry about building anything. Well done for Maria Theresa, Oxfordshire University, class of 1468. <laughs> you guys ready for some bad Latin? Yeah! <laughs> sic oculus, sic ille manus, sic ora ferabat. The 1468 graduating class at Oxfordshire University is exceptional. As the graduation festivities die down, whole classes of fresh graduates report for duty across the country. Where shall we direct them? Oh, to sow a thousand flowers. We need the prestige more than we need ten measly administration points. Come on! Yay, now we're making money! Siege of Fife. I have to imagine that's because... Oh no, I don't know why we're making money then. Um, we'll take care of the last little bit. And the actual land that I have a claim on. That I really could care less about. 
Yeah, go away. Fight your stupid rebels. That's a good idea. Uh, not going to spend money on ideas or even diplomatic tech at the moment. I'm going to have to go through quite a few diplomacy points here to um, actually complete my conquests. Yeah, this is going to get this is going to get tricky. Maybe we'll wait on Munster until I get the other Irish land taken as well. Sounds like a good idea. With the walls breached, this siege shouldn't take much longer. Certainly not long enough for those 2,000 men to get a hold of Fife. Are those my light ships? They are, okay. What we got? Let's sort of become a vassal. Yeah, you see, we don't want a vassal. We don't want you to be a vassal. Although I guess with them being a vassal, it would be easier just to diplo-annex them, or just to absorb them later on and not take such a penalty yeah, maybe we'll wind up doing that are you freaking kidding me that's something I'm really going to have to mull over Scholars have discovered ancient documents tracing the heritage of our noble dynasty back to Julius Caesar himself! <laughs> uh, how's our... We need more prestige than legitimacy at the moment. That's funny. The war has taken a heavy toll upon the mothers and wives of your nation. And as you pass this ragged old widow where she sits, her face buried deep in her palmed hands, your heir asks, Oh, father, why are all the women weeping? They're all weeping for their men. They're really crying, son. Um, no, we can't really afford to lose the money, so they're just crying. Give us a thousand men. Yeah, that is... I've, I'm still mulling that over in my head. We got, we got actual invasions and conquests to think of before I figure out how I'm going to split up the Irish lands. Because, I mean, really, conquering them isn't that difficult, right? Like, your ports are blockaded. No, that's fine. <laughs> I think I might do that. I think I might go for the Vassalize. English Vassal. So what'll that get us? 15 aggressive expansion. 5 prestige. What is this? 2 prestige. 15 aggressive expansion. So we get more prestige if they become a Vassal. And it doesn't cost us diplomatic power, and it doesn't increase inflation. I mean, that doesn't really matter. Okay, you become a vassal. And then, Connacht, you can become a vassal as well. Right? Perfect. Send the demand. And let's see if Scotland's ready to accept that, too. Sue for peace. You are going to become a vassal. Nope. Oh, we need a 124% war score to get that. Right. The Hundred Years' War was the last great medieval war. It was not just between kings, but lesser nobles were also able to pursue their own personal agendas while participating in the larger conflict. Future wars saw far less factionalism. 
at least on the scale found in medieval conflicts. The Hundred Years' War was actually dozens of little wars and hundreds of battles and sieges that went on for over a century, between 1337 and 1453, until both sides were exhausted. Well, neither side won in any real sense. The end result that while there were two kingdoms at the beginning of the war, there were two nations at the end of it. We've lost our foothold in France. Yeah, we've lost our foothold in France. Okay. So those guys are now our handy-dandy trusty vassals, which means eventually we will be able to just absorb them. In about ten years, we'll be able to start that process, and that'll be much better. Thank you. Unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to be able to do the same with Scotland. If I'm reading that correctly. Now it's a 400% war score. <laughs> Demand tribute. Oh, 124. So, I don't know. We'll... We'll see what's going to be open to me, but I have a feeling neither annexation nor vassalization is going to be open. Which causes me to question um, <laughs> what the hell is going on with War Score. I get that, you know, you shouldn't necessarily be able to conquer the world in one war. I get that. And it's been like that for every Paradox game I've ever played, and I'm cool with it. But I mean, in this case, no matter what, I should be able to force someone to become a vassal of mine. What do you want? Scotland, Scotland will cede a bunch of freaking land that I don't even want. I guess really, I, sh I could have just got the mission to vassalize Scotland. Such is life, because we're never going to repair those relations with Burgundy, and I really shouldn't even bother trying, right? Yeah, that's, I mean, no, that's just not going to happen. Cancel that damn mission. I've... Will my vassal here be smart enough to use the transports? Or is that just wishful thinking? I think that's just wishful thinking. What do you want? I don't I don't want land. I don't want land. I want your kingdom. Well, does this mean uh, Sweden's going to join the freaking war? Most likely. Leave that advisor unhired for now, because we can't really afford to hire him. Look, no. There's, there's only one thing that's going to make things right between us, Scotland, and it's either going to be full annexation or you're going to become a vassal. If I have to take over Scotland piece by piece, that's going to be so frustrating. <laughs> the war is won and your people tire of the continued occupation. They cry out for peace. Tell that to the stupid Scots. There's one thing I want. Just one. Just one thing to make me a happy monarch. Aberdeen. Uh, let's just finish this off. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I really, I really do. That's just, ah. Uh. I'm hoping that if I just conquer everything Scotland owns, that'll open up and allow me... We can assault that place now. To just conquer it. Or not conquer it. To just vassalize it. If not, I'm going to wind up with 
southern Scotland, and they're going to be left with almost nothing, and it's going to be pointless for both our nations. The various and innovative ideas of the Renaissance are spreading through Italy. Already a number of wealthy families have decided to provide financial support for the promising artists. Are we to let history pass by without leaving our mark on it? Well, we too shall support the blooming Renaissance art. Even though we can't really afford it, we're going to do it. All right, still sitting there, unable to select that. It's going to just drive me insane. If what happens, happens. If what I think needs to happen, happens, I'm just going to be super frustrated. All right, let's see if we can just speed this last little bit up. every available means that I've got at my disposal to cause this siege to end. I get that. I mean, I can, I can probably take the main body and leave them with the Western Isles and Orkney. I can't imagine why the AI would prefer that to being a vassal. I really don't get that. I'm going to be I'm going to be complaining about this for as long as this game goes on. Yeah. Well, I don't want to annex you. How about a vassal? No, that's that's too costly, sir. Even though we started this war with a claim on their throne, I might add. We had a real viable claim on their throne. And they're like, no, no. Two weeks into the war, it's like, hey, you know that whole reason you're going to war here? You don't have that reason anymore. And now, I can't even vassalize the idiots. Because reasons. Ugh, so frustrating. Fine. Archer... We can't take their capital, so we'll just have to surround the stupid thing. And what else have we got? We got Aberdeen, and we could go with the Highlands, and that should be everything giving me a schwack of freaking aggressive expansion. And 150 diplomatic power to send this off? Fine. Let's just, let's do it. Wonderful. I'm so happy that it turned out this way. Where's my overextension? Right. So we got a ton of stuff to do, don't we? Okay. Ah, that needs to become a core. That needs to become a core. That needs to become a core. And that needs to become a core. Thank you. You really made this difficult, Scotland. Ridiculous. Well, at least it'll be easy to vassalize next time! Alright, well... <laughs> that's a good place to leave the video, I guess. <laughs> so bitter. Sorry about that, guys. But that is just... That frustrates me to no end. So thumbs up if you've enjoyed this. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.